Hello. Hey guys, welcome back to Destroyer 1320. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to check the transmission fluid level on a Scat Pack 1320. Stay tuned. So checking the transmission fluid on the 2019 Dodge Challenger Scat Pack 1320. Uh, mouthful. This is for the um, ZF8, it's a 70, HP 70 transmission that's in this vehicle. And uh, just wanted to go over the transmission fluid check procedure. Uh, and this is from Dodge. If you do a quick search on it, you can actually find the owner's manual and it will uh, go through this as well. So let's get into it. So to check your transmission uh, fluid level, it's not an easy process, not something you just, oh, I'm gonna check it. Uh, it's going to take some time. So the transmission temperature has to be between 86 and 120 degrees. Uh, it takes an 8 millimeter Allen to loosen the plug. And I'll uh, pop up a thing right about now that shows you where the plug is located on the transmission. It's on the passenger side of the vehicle towards the back of the transmission. You'll see on the bottom, you'll see a little circle and you go just up to the side and that's where your plug is located. So once the temperature of the transmission is in between 86 and 120 degrees, you use your 8 millimeter Allen to pull the plug. Uh, when you pull it, some fluid should come out, and if it doesn't, that means you need to add some fluid. Now this is not standard ATF-4, this is ATF, uh, it's for 8 and 9 speed transmissions. It is not the standard red fluid from uh, years past, it has a greenish hue to it, kind of looks funny. But that stuff's 43 bucks a bottle, so if you're going to check your trans fluid, spend 43 bucks and have some just in case. You will take and <laughs> once you check that, if fluid comes out, you're good, put it back in, you should be okay. If you want to go through the rest of the test, say no fluid comes out, then go ahead and put the plug back in. Um, torque spec on it, if you're looking to retorque it, is 22 foot-pounds. Uh, here is the the main thing for this, it's not that makes it where it's not easy. You'll have to have your car up on four jack stands or a lift uh, that is level to be able to perform this procedure. So you will disable traction control, put, start the car, disable traction control, put it in reverse, hit the brakes and hold it for five seconds. And then you will put it in drive, hit the brakes and hold it for five seconds. Then you will put it back and leave, while it's in drive, let off the brakes, accelerate slowly until it shifts into second gear Hold it in second gear for five seconds, which you could probably do manually with the paddle shifters or with the manual plus minus. Apply the brakes and then put it in neutral. Raise the RPMs to 2000 for five seconds. So you'll hold it at 2000 RPM for five more seconds on that. Put the car in park, put it back up on the lift and check to see if fluid comes out. If the fluid does come out, it was too full and you'll need to let the excess drain until it goes to a slow drip and then put your plug back in and tighten it down, 22 foot pounds of torque. Uh, be sure that your transmission temperature during this entire process does not exceed 120 degrees for trans temperature. So if you live in Arizona like I do, it's already 100 and, uh, oh, 103 right now. So uh, not a good place for me to try and check that. Uh, there is one other thing with these vehicles. There is a, it's a thermostatic bypass for the trans cooler. The trans cooler is mounted up behind your radiator. Uh, there's actually a little block that has trans fluid running, that stops trans fluid from running into the cooler until it reaches a temperature of 160 degrees. So this is interesting because to accurately test it, you will have to check it put your plug back in, run the car up past 160 degrees so it flows all the way through your trans cooler, let it cool back down, and then bring it back up to the between 86 and 120 degrees, as it says in the manual, and then check it again. That's to do the test 
kind of properly. Um, otherwise, you could miss if there's if there's a hole in your trance cooler or there's not fluid in the trance cooler. It can still, when you first do the test, there could be fluid going that's bypassed once it hits that block back to the transmission. You won't know what is in the transmission cooler. So something else to look into. Uh, the proper test for this can take up to two days. Uh, I, I found this very interesting. There's been uh, a couple of people that have asked me if I could do a video on how to check your transmission fluid. It's not as simple. There's no dipstick. It's, uh, it's quite the procedure. Uh, it can be done. Uh, for those who are like me, and I'm an I'm a at-home mechanic, I can't stand bringing my car to the dealership. You know, once I get some more miles on this, this is definitely something I'm going to do. Uh, appreciate you guys watching the videos. Don't forget, hit subscribe, click the like button, hit the little bell, and tell your friends about it. I also have a Teespring store. I sell t-shirts. It's uh, Destroyer1320 Gear on Teespring. And uh, check out my other channel. I have a channel called Deb Bankson's if you like cooking. Uh, cooking with E is what I've been doing since I can't go to the drag strip right now. That's going to change soon. In Arizona, we're supposed to open up on May 5th. I don't know that I'll be racing my car because it's already over 100 degrees outside, so we'll see. But I definitely will be going to take video, and I appreciate you guys so much. Thanks for watching.